Let's continue more question about different quotient. So given functions, fx equal to 3x minus x squared. And then we're going to find out different quotient, f3 plus h minus f3 over h here. Okay, which means now initial value is set up at x equal 3, and then h is interval. So as we did before, now we are finding f3 plus h and then f3 and then replace those values into this formula. So first of all, f3 plus h. So uh, as we did before, we plugging this value into axis. But as you see, you have x here and x here. So you must plug those values into the both axes. Then this becomes 3, 3 plus h minus 3 plus h squared. Then this becomes 9 plus 3h minus this you must fold them like a 3 plus h time 3 plus h then you will get 9 plus 6h plus h squared. Now open the parentheses, then 9 plus 3h minus 9 minus 6h and then minus h squared. So combine like term, then this is gone. So it becomes negative 3h minus h squared. Next, we need to find out f3. So, f3 that equal to 3 times 3 minus 3 squared, so which means 9 minus 9 equal to 0. Okay, so we are ready to plug this value into this formula. Okay, then this becomes negative 3h minus h squared minus 0 over h. So it becomes negative 3h minus h squared over h. If you factor by h, because two terms both have h here then, h negative 3 minus h over h So you cancel h and h here, then answer becomes negative 3 minus h. Okay? So before, you know, we got answer is 3, but now this time we got answer negative 3 minus h, right? It because. Look at the given uh, function here. Before, the given function is linear function. Linear function means it has a regular slope. And the different quotient means finding the slope. Therefore, you know, whatever you do, you know, which initial value, which interval you choose, slope must be regular slope, which is 3. But the second equation, given function is quadratic function here. So it doesn't have regular slope, right? So, you know, we need to set up every slope setting. So in this case, when x equal 3 as an initial value, then you can set up slope is negative 3 minus h here. Okay? So one example. Let's h equal to 2 maybe. Then second point will be 5 as you know because initial equal to 3. Then you just plug that into here then negative 3 minus 2 then negative 5. So based on interval equals 2 so maybe the line passing through 
3 and then 5 here this law becomes negative 5 basically that's what this means okay I threw the uh, graph wrong but you know that's what this means